So you've just jailbroken your iPhone 10 that's on iOS 11.2 up to 11.4 beta and you're wondering what are the best tweaks I can get on this iPhone 10? Well, here are the top 10 iPhone 10 tweaks for iOS 11.2 to 11.4. First week I have shown you guys in a previous video, it's called battery percent X. So it'll basically change your battery percentage symbol to your actual battery percentage, which is super useful. So you don't actually have to open the control center every time you want to look at how much battery you've got. You can also do a couple more cool things with this. For example, you can actually toggle on to double tap on it to enable low power mode. So we've double tapped there and it's got low power mode turned on. You can also tap and hold on there and you can actually respring your device which is super neat and you can also actually customize the color of it when you are charging your device it will show green and when it's in low power mode it should show yellow and if it's dying then it's on red another thing you can actually do with battery percent x which i have actually been messing about with yesterday is it will actually give you a bar on the bottom of the notch here showing how much battery you've got so if you've got full battery it will be full and it will be in green if you're under 20% it will actually be small and it'll be red and it will be this yellowish green color when you're like in the middle of your phone being on 20% and 100%. I'm not sure this will cause screen burning. I've got to get back to you on that, but it, it's pretty cool. I really like it and you can also change the color of it and you can actually add a custom color and stuff like that, which is really, really cool. You can also change the pulse animation so it will actually pulse if you're charging it, which is very cool. You can also change the meter style so you can actually have it go from right to left uh, and so on and so forth. So there's a, a couple cool things you can do with this tweak. I highly recommend it because it is really, really cool. And also just to get that battery percentage is definitely a reason you should get this tweak. This is another really cool tweak. It's called Hyper Ion. And basically it will give you dots for notifications when your screen is turned off, which is really cool. So as you can see here, I've got a Twitter notification and you can actually Actually do quite a few things here in the settings so you can actually change the notification style so right now mine are on LEDs so it will show just a tiny little LED and of course if you do have more notifications it will show more LEDs in the notification dot bar thing and you can also change it to border so as you can see here when you receive a notification this is how it will look like and of course it'll go all around and there's also pulse here so you can actually have a pulse this will pulse of course when you do receive a notification so it will get bigger and then go back to small. You also have this thing here where you can actually move the dots wherever you want on the screen and then you just double tap for when you're finished and I'm not going to save it because I've already got mine set on LEDs in the middle. So you can also yeah change the notification position. You can also align the LEDs so you can have them on the left of the notch uh, instead of the middle or even on, on the right if you want to. And you can also choose to ignore the notification when seen so when you've seen the notification it won't actually show up when your screen is off and stuff. You can also enable low power mode when the thing is showing so it will actually use less power you can also schedule it so if you wa don't want it to go off when you're sleeping you can actually disable between a certain hour so you can actually choose here you can choose the bedtime hours and everything and there's quite a few things you can do with this tweak i really really like this tweak and i highly recommend it and definitely in my top 10 this is another really cool tweak it's called auto unlock x and basically what it will allow you to do is wh what i just did there so when your screen turns on you you look at your phone it will unlock automatically without having to swipe up and there are a few settings for this so if we go into the auto unlock x settings here you can also disable it when notifications are on which is what i've got it set to so then when i receive notifications it won't just blast through to the home screen and i lose all my notifications basically you can also disable it if music is playing disable it if the flashlight is on and you can also have it automatically retry when face id fails which is really useful this tweak works really really well and it works pretty much 100 percent of the time it's pretty cool. This is another must have tweak for iPhone 10 users. It's called Easy Switcher X. And basically, what Easy Switcher X allows you to do is to just swipe up on the app cards so you don't have to press and hold wait for the red dot thing to appear and then swipe up or tap the the button just do this swipe up simple as that you can also in the settings here actually change a few things you can toggle it on and off and stuff you can also enable the sweat switcher menu which basically the switcher menu is when you swipe down on an icon it will actually allow you to kill all the applications in your app switcher which is really cool you can also decide to reboot or even respring for example if we do open up 
up a few different applications here and you swipe down, you can do clear all applications, tap confirm, and it will actually kill them all in the background. So as you can see, they're not there anymore. Definitely a really cool tweak. Now you might have noticed that on my iPhone 10, there's no home bar. This tweak is called hide bar X and basically it will allow you to remove the home bar on your iPhone 10 everywhere. So even the lock screen, as you can see, there's no home bar, which honestly makes this phone look a lot cleaner. I don't know why Apple added the home bar or anything, and I don't know why they haven't removed it in iOS 12, but it really looks nice because you don't have, actually have that home bar that's super annoying that follows you everywhere. It's, re it's really annoying, and it actually really, really works well. So as you can see, there's no home bar. It's really, really cool. This is another tweak I featured in a video before. It's called notch list, and basically it will remove the notch on your iPhone 10. Well, when I say remove, it will make it look a lot better than when you do have a notch. So as you can see here, where the notch is, the background is actually black. So it will look like the notch is not there, but it actually really, really works well. So as you can see here, the notch has disappeared. It's not even here on the lock screen. If we go into an app here that doesn't actually have Eclipse in it, there we go. As you can see, no notch. You can also go into the notchless settings here and you can actually choose to curve the top of display or not. So you actually can remove this curve if you don't like it. I actually prefer it. It looks a little less bizarre are and you can also hide it on the lock screen hide it on home screen hide it in landscape yes this will also work in landscape so when you're watching youtube videos you watch them full screen in landscape and not have the notch intrude on your content which is pretty cool you can also choose apps to blacklist so if you don't want notch list to work in a specific app because maybe it has some issues or something you can actually turn it off from within here so yeah there's a couple of things you can do in the settings and definitely this is a tweak to get if you're one of those people who doesn't like the notch and yeah moving on this next tweak which you actually have seen on my channel a couple of times before is called eclipse x and basically eclipse x will give you a system-wide dark mode on your iPhone. It works really well. It doesn't work very well in a lot of apps. In fact, for example, Twitter, I had to install a completely separate tweak for dark mode because uh, the, the actual standard dark mode doesn't work very well for me. And also there are a few other apps like Facebook it doesn't work in and there's a couple of others. It does work in most apps and it works really well. And you can also change the color option settings. So you can actually have, if you don't like this baby blue color for the settings, you can actually change it from within here and you can actually choose the tint color to be random or yellow or red or purple or anything like that. And you can also choose between a couple of different themes or oh, a couple. <laughs> Last time I remember it, there was like five, but yeah, you can choose the colors. So this isn't just a dark mode. You can actually have a citrus mode or a saffron mode or a bamboo mode. Actually, I'm interested to see what the ci citrus one will look like. Oh, wow. That, that looks, that looks weird. Yeah. I'm going to keep it on midnight. <laughs> so yeah, there's literally a lot of stuff you can do here, which is pretty cool. You can also choose to show the table separators. You can have an alternative mode on, which I'm not sure what that is. You can also disable it on the springboard. You can also disable specific apps from using it. So if you do have another dark mode that is built for a specific app, you can actually turn off the application from within Eclipse here, which is really cool. You also have more options here. So you can also change the like the translucent navigation bars. You can tint the SMS bubbles, tint iMessage bubbles. You can also color the status bar on the home screen. I'm not sure if that works on the iPhone 10. Yeah, Eclipse X can do quite a few things and I highly recommend it if you're one of those people who likes to have a dark mode and would really like to have a dark mode on their iPhone 10. This is another really cool tweak. This is for the keyboard. It's called Latus or Latius or something like that. Anyway, you can actually customize your keyboard color using this tweak. So as you can see, my is completely black here and it looks really really good you can also go into the latest settings here if we can find them here we go and you can also change the color you can have a blue keyboard for all i care like you can change it to whatever color you want so if we change it to that and if we open up the keyboard here as you can see now it is in blue which is pretty cool and you don't need to respring or anything it just changes automatically so we can also have it on red here. Here we go, red keyboard. For the most part, it works and it works really good. This next tweak is called bar emoji. This is another keyboard tweak and basically it will add a bar of emojis where the home bar is. So underneath the keyboard, as you can see here, 
you have all of your favorite emojis, but you can actually just tap on the emojis you want here and it will add the emojis to whatever you're typing, which is really cool. So instead of having to hold on the globe or just tap the emoji symbol to go and use an emoji, you can quickly select the emoji you want down here, which is very neat. This last week is called BioProtect and every time you now open an app, it will actually ask you for face ID or touch ID authentication. This does work with touch ID and whenever you open an app that you choose to be locked, it will ask you for face ID. And uh, if we go into notes here, what'll ask us for face ID is really cool. And if we go into the BioProtect settings here, you can also change some of the settings. I'm actually going to turn on the remember unlock session, but you can also do a couple more things from within here. So you can actually choose what applications you want to lock and which ones you don't. You can also go into the folders here and actually pick folders you want locked. I don't have any turned on because I don't really have any secret folders. You can also have the settings pane here so you can actually choose what settings you don't want people to actually get into without your passcode or any permission or anything. You can also do it to the, your control center. So whenever you press on something in the control center, you can actually have it ask for face ID. And there's a ton of other stuff you can protect in here using your face. So far it's working really well and I absolutely love this tweak. So there you go guys, those were my top 10 iPhone 10 jailbreak tweaks for iOS 11.2 to 11.4. If you guys want to install any of these tweaks or you're wondering how much they cost, all of that information will be in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like these, be sure to smash that like button down below. And actually let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite iPhone 10 jailbreak tweak is. Let's chat in the comments. And also if you're new around here and you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button as I upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday and live streams every Monday and Friday. So make sure you subscribe with your notifications turned on by clicking the bell. So then you'll be notified every time I upload a video, you can get to my videos early and you won't miss an upload. But for now guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Benji from Ben Obi Tech and I'll catch you guys in the very next video.